character of a quilt, and this is a summer quilt. This not, is a, a, not, a summer quilt. It's not batted. There's no batting. Now, now, how much did you want for this quilt? This is six ninety-five. This is six ninety-five. And eight ninety-five. And it's eight ninety-five for the one dominated by orange. This is dominated by blue. Right. And uh, you were saying something about the way that it was pieced together. Well, it's, but she's taken irregular pieces of uh -huh. fabric, uh -huh. but in her quilting, this is so different. She's actually very evenly quilted all the way across, uh -huh. all the way down in a grid pattern. Uh huh. So it looks like it's tinier squares. You uh -huh, can see sure. where the stitches are. It's like it's defined tinier squares, but this is one piece of cloth. Well, and this is a really interesting quilt. I love it for that. I love the overall. Now, what makes it a summer quilt? It's not batted. It's not so, batted. So on, on a summer evening with the uh -huh. windows open, you might want a little light cover. Uh -huh. You may not want a big heavy cover. Sure. Some of the quilts are very heavy, thickly batted. This one is made out of work shirt fabric. Work shirt fabrics. Yes. Lots well. of work clothes. And there's a whole chapter in the book on G's Bend about work, work clothes. You take work clothes that are worn out and you you save the scraps. And it's striking diamond. Oh, good. It's a diamond pattern. It's really nice. Well, fantastic.